Hi guys, welcome back to our video. I am 33 weeks pregnant this week and you're probably wondering what happened to weeks 30 through 32, which I will tell you about in a little bit. But first, what are you saying? You're talking like a little baby. You're not a little baby, you're three years old now. Okay, so anyway, um, our baby girl is now the size of a, what is this, James? A pineapple. A pineapple, yes. He was calling it a pine corn, or pine corn? Pine corn? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I really hold it. Okay, it's kind of prickly, so you need to be careful. Um. Last time on the last video, James ran off with the, with our butternut squash, and I couldn't find it for like a little while. And then I remember, oh wait, it's in. He opened the closet, so I opened the closet, and there was my butternut squash. So I had to be careful letting him go off with our produce. Okay, you've got to be careful, please. Okay. Okay, don't hide the pineapple. Okay. And then he goes off to hide the pineapple. Okay, so um, back to the baby girl. The bones in her skull are not fused together. They can move and they can slightly overlap, which will help her go through the birth canal. She is packing on the weight, which may make me gain like a pound a week. Sorry if you hear my dog whining. Well, he's just whining. <laughs> Sorry about that. How I'm feeling. Okay, this this was, this will actually take tell you why I haven't been doing the videos for like about a month. Where'd the pineapple go? Where's the pineapple? I just took it. I know. I actually caught a stomach bug for it was over like a week I had it and I was like really nauseated and just really tired. I actually threw up twice during that time. And I knew it was more than just like the regular like being pregnant nausea because this was like the worst nausea I've ever like probably have ever had. Maybe I've had it worse with with the um or I've had it bad before with other stomach bugs, but yeah, I could tell it wasn't just a regular pregnancy nausea. Also, James caught it too. Um, he was telling us he didn't feel good, and so we let him sleep in our bed. And, and of course, right in the middle of the night, he threw up all over our bed, <laughs> which is which is fine because I weather him be with us when he got sick because he's never really thrown up since he was like an infant. So I'm glad he was with us because he woke up pretty scared. Right before I caught the stomach bug, it was actually on the morning, the Saturday morning of my baby shower, I found out, or my doctor called on a Saturday of all days, um, right before I left to go to my baby shower, my doctor called to tell me that I have gestational diabetes. So I had to deal with having a stomach bug and also trying to regulate my gestational diabetes. I had to go in and do the regular taking uh, the gestational diabetes test where you go in and drink a really sugary, sugary drink. I think that was in my last video, one of my last videos about had to go in and drink that and then they you take they take your blood and check your um, levels and mine was high so they called me back into the office and I had to do a three hour um, test which they take your blood when you first get there it's after you've been fasting all night in the morning and then they do it every hour after that after you drink another sugary drink so I was stuck four times within like three hours. <laughs> so that morning of my baby shower, my doctor called and she told me that she was checking the labs and she wanted to let me know that I, well my first two numbers were normal, but then the second two 
um, numbers were high, so that makes me have gestational diabetes. My doctor told me to go and buy this little device right here. Um, it's the little thing that pricks your finger. So I have to prick my finger every morning when I wake up. I prick my finger and then after fasting all night and then every two hours after I eat. And then this little thing right here um, tells me my number and I have to write that down. And these little, these little um, test strips, they're like four to five hundred dollars for a prescription of these. So when we mess up on them, we actually get, get kind of mad. And no one taught us how to like do all this. We just kind of had to wing it. And so it took us a few tries <clears throat> to get it down. But then it also comes with these little needle things that that we have to, that's what it pricks my finger. So this has been a real big adventure and learning for us. David thankfully helps me out because I get really frustrated. So because of this, my fingers have become pretty sore and I'm trying to figure out different ways to do it so um, they're just not like painful all the time. I also have to regulate everything I eat and which stinks for a pregnant woman because you're always hungry and always craving something and I cannot cave into these cravings. It's also hard right now like during the holidays because I want to eat all the goodies and all the seasonal sweets, but I can't. Diabetes is definitely a cruel disease. But I am very thankful that I do not have to take insulin yet. My numbers have actually been normal, except for like a handful of times. And that's usually, well, most of them were because of Thanksgiving and then James's birthday. My doctor said that my numbers have looked good, but they're not. it's not 100% accurate because I have not been eating enough calories or carbs. I've actually been planning my meals around the keto diet, which my doctor didn't like because she said that they're not allowed to have enough carbs. And I'm supposed to have between like 500 calories each meal and... 30 to 45 carbs each meal and my snacks which I'm supposed to have three times a day which I usually don't usually only end up having like two snacks but they're supposed to be I believe 200 calories and 10 carbs I may be a little off on those numbers it might be 15 I don't remember I'm not 100% I have it written down in there but that's what my snacks were supposed to be my eating has been like a huge adjustment, but my doctor said this is how I should be eating anyway, so. She also wants me to go walking every night after dinner, but I'm gonna have to find another time during the day to do that because, sorry James is trying to climb up on the chair. Um, because by the time we eat dinner, Afterwards, it's already dark, and so I don't want to be walking outside in the dark and trip and and fall. That would be bad. <laughs> My sister-in-law actually asked me if all this like gestational stuff of me trying to regulate and everything has actually made me feel better, and it's a hard and a question to answer because I want to say yes, but at the same time, I'm still going through like the third trimester being tired and having all the aches and pains so I'm not really I mean I want to say yes I do feel better it has helped me some but I can't be a hundred percent like answer that positively that yes I it, it has helped sorry if you hear moaning over there James is eating a cookie <laughs> he's really enjoying it best moment this week was that we celebrated James's birthday. Mm -hmm. um, it, My birthday. My birthday's birthday now. Yeah, today's Baxter's birthday. He's 13 years old. And how old are you? No. 
You know how old you are. Two. No, you're not two. Mm, Sorry, he's over here. Let's see if I can get it. You're three. You three. know that. You, you knew that. Um, um, um. Anyway, so I did have a couple of days there where we're just cleaning, trying to get the what house all ready and clean, um, clean, which mm. really tired me out. Mm. But um, got to do it for your baby boy, <laughs> don't you? The low of the week is just having to deal with all this gestational diabetes crud. My wedding ring is still on and my belly button is still in. It actually, I remember telling in one of my videos that my um, belly button was like, like a big crater <laughs> kind of thing. But now I've actually yeah. Yeah. noticed it's Mom, actually trying to like close up. I don't know, I guess it's because I'm getting so big. What I miss, I actually miss not having to <laughs> regulate what I'm eating. I wish I could eat a cookie like James is over there and enjoy it that much, but I can't. Um, and eating out is really hard because I have to find what I can eat wherever we go. And thankfully, one of David's cousins has diabetes and she told me about a book. It's called Calorie King. Mommy's sick. Yeah, I'm sick. <laughs> Calorie King, and it, it lists a lot of you, restaurants. You give me feel better in two minutes. You give me, I, you give me feel better. I hope I do feel better pretty soon. Um, and it it it's, it gives you the calories and carbs and nutrition of a lot of the food they have there. So it does that has helped me a lot, but it's still really frustrating when I'm trying That's to go out and for, try to find something to eat. What I look forward to. I am looking forward to hopefully after you give birth um, you get rid of your gestational diabetes. Majority of the time that happens, not always, but sometimes sorry, sometimes it does, or most of the time it does. And I am looking forward to having a tombstone pizza and some alcohol <laughs> afterwards because that's just what I'm really craving and what I'm really missing right now. All right, um, that will be the end of this video. Do you want to come and say goodbye to everybody? Mm -hmm. Okay, come here. All right, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs Hi, up. And um, hit that subscribe yeah, button yeah. and hit that bell also so you'll never miss any yeah. of our videos. Alright, yeah. we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, yeah. bye!